When it's time to choose the right sound bar, there may be many things to consider, and finding the right one for you can be quite a challenge. Well, no worries on this video, we will present you the top 5 best sound bars on the market today. So if you're interested in what sound bar will work best for you, stay tuned. If this is your first time on this channel and you're looking for more information and details about a specific product, then start now by clicking on the subscribe button so you don't miss anything. All the links about the products mentioned in this review will be in the description section below of this video. So if you want to find the links where you can buy this product at the best prices and more information, click show more if you are on your PC or the arrow down if you are on your phone. Now let's get to the video. The first on our list is best overall, we chose Yamaha YAS207. The Yamaha YAS207 has six speakers in the soundbar itself and a 6.25-inch wireless subwoofer. In addition, it has the newest vertical sound codec, DTS Virtual X, which adds depth to the movies you watch and is easier to set up than a traditional sound system. Its clear voice setting produces some of the best sounding vocals and dialogues in our test. When you combine that clear dialogue and immersive surround sound with a price of less than $300, it's hard to justify using your TV's built-in speakers. This soundbar has the most important connectivity options, including HDMI ports, a 3.5mm auxiliary input, and Bluetooth. The HDMI connects support 4K and HDR video pass-through, so the YAS207 doesn't degrade the video quality of content you play through your stream box or Blu-ray player if you connect them directly to it. However, the easiest way to set up your soundbar is to use the TV as the connection hub and send digital audio to the soundbar via the optical input. It's also easy to connect mobile devices to the YAS207 via Bluetooth so you can play your favorite songs from your smartphone or MP3 player. The one most important connection option missing on the YAS207 is Wi-Fi. Sound bars with Wi-Fi use your home's wireless network to connect to devices and allow you to stream higher quality content from greater distances than with Bluetooth. To transmit via Bluetooth, you have to be within roughly 30 feet of the soundbar, and the connection doesn't transmit lossless audio. By the way, if you think about another product you would like us to review, go ahead and put it in the comments down below, and we'll make it happen. Next on the list as best home theater, we chose Nakamichi Shockwave Pro 7.1. The Shockwave Pro is a little different than most soundbar systems, as although it's common for a soundbar to be packaged with a subwoofer, the Shockwave Pro is one of a smaller number of soundbars that also comes packaged with surround sound speakers, making it sort of a hybrid soundbar home theater system. Another twist that Nakamichi has incorporated in this system is that in addition to the traditional left, center, right channel speaker configuration in the soundbar, there are two additional surround effects tweeters, one facing out of each end of the soundbar. This addition is designed not only to provide a wider front stage, front surround, but are angled so that they project further into the room and blend more seamlessly with the surround speakers that are designed to be located near the back of the room. The system's surround decoding includes Dolby Audio, which in this case means Dolby Digital and Dolby Pro Logic 2, and DTS 5.1. It does not include the lossless or height-capable formats, but players include the ability to extract and play only the basic core track within Dolby True HD, Dolby Atmos, DTS HD Master Audio, and DTS X programs. So, watching Blu-rays with your HD TV or Ultra HD TV shouldn't be a problem. Connectivity includes two HDMI ports with 4K pass-through and one HDMI ARC output. Digital, coaxial, optical, and analog mini jacks are also provided. Bluetooth lets you play music from your phone without a tether. The system is rated to play as low as 35 Hz, but with few details provided. Next on the list as best virtual surround, we have the Yamaha YSP5600. The Yamaha YSP5600 is a big, powerful virtual soundbar that is well-equipped to give your home theater jaw-dropping 3D sound immersion. A hawking presence that stands over 8 inches tall, the Yamaha Sound Projector 5600 YSP5600 isn't your average soundbar, and it isn't supposed to be. Loaded into this behemoth are 44-beam drivers, including a 12-pack of them pointed right at the ceiling 
to deliver the sense of height required by Dolby Atmos and DTS-X technologies. The system is flush with inputs including four HDMI ins and an ARC-enabled HDMI out, one coax and two optical digital inputs, infrared in-out, RCA analog input, and a subwoofer out. Most importantly though, Yamaha has loaded some truly brilliant sound performance into its magic box. The beam drivers use your walls to bounce sound at the listening position for strikingly realistic surround sound immersion. At a cost that is far more than most soundbar setups without all their purpose-built convenience, the YSP5600 sits in a somewhat awkward position in the soundbar scale. Still, with all its caveats, Yamaha has loaded some truly brilliant sound performance into this magic box. If you're looking for a singular home sound solution without the need for all those extra wires, speakers, and mess, the 5600 is an enticing way to go big for your home theater. If you can get it rigged up right, Yamaha's YSP5600 is the simplest way to plunge into the ear-opening new world of 3D surround sound. We would love to hear which of these amazing soundbars you'd like to get. Put that in the chat box below and let's see which the majority of viewers like the most. Next, as best mini design, we have the Polk Magnify Mini. Small, sleek, and simple, this Mighty Mouse soundbar harbors the powerhouse of great sound within. No, really, this little guy is a soundbar. Despite its tiny frame and minimalist design, the Polk Magnify Mini is a fully capable soundbar that won't crowd your TV stand or your living room. Due to the size and angle of its six drivers, the Magnify Mini produces a much bigger soundstage than its appearance would imply. We're big fans of the included sub on this unit too. Inputs on the back include HDMI with ARC, digital optical input, and a 3.5 mm auxiliary input. The hardwire options are matched by wireless connection in the form of Bluetooth, as well as Wi-Fi connection via Google Cast. The unit's big sound is due in part to Polk Audio's SDA Surround Sound DSP, while Voice Adjust allows you to crank up the center channel for clearer dialogue. There's also a night mode to limit dynamics when the family is sleeping, and a choice of three DSP modes for film, sports, and music. Despite its lightweight design, it handles bass heavy moments with power and musicality. And this isn't to say that this bar is a viable alternative to a fully capable 5.1 surround system. In fact, despite Polk claiming the Magnify can deliver 5.1 sound, the experience is much closer to a 3.1 setup. In addition, the mid-range isn't quite as clear or present as we'd like in quieter moments. However, don't let these caveats turn you off to the Magnify Mini. It's an impressive piece of tiny tech that barely hits your wallet. To finish our list as best budget option, we chose the Vizio SB6321N E8. You don't have to spend a month's wages to upgrade the lackluster sound coming from your TV's built-in speakers. This Vizio soundbar costs less than $200 and it produced some of the best results in our listening test. There are only two speakers in the soundbar, so its surround simulation is lacking compared to the best models we tested. However, movie dialogue and vocals were clear and concise, which is important if you use your entertainment room to watch TV programs and listen to music. This soundbar package includes a 5.4-inch wireless subwoofer that connects automatically. It's one of the smaller subwoofers in terms of speaker size, but it was accurate and surprisingly powerful compared to its larger competition in our tests. The SB3621 had no problem filling our 300-square-foot AV room, but we suggest getting a soundbar with a larger subwoofer and more speakers if you have a medium or large-size entertainment room. It is missing a couple of the important connections we look for, including HDMI ports and Wi-Fi. However, it has an auxiliary input, USB port, and Bluetooth connectivity. This is one of the few soundbars we tested with a USB port you can use to play high-quality WAV files. The USB connections on most models can only be used to service the product or update the firmware. From all these products, about 80% of the people have chosen the Vizio and bought it from Amazon. And we have put a link to that product in the description below so you can check it out. That would be all for this video. Thanks for watching and hope you liked it. And if you did, please go ahead and give us a like. If you're new to the channel and you like it, please consider to subscribe. We also do all kinds of videos like this for all kinds of different products, all aimed at providing you the selection of the best products, making your decision easier.
Please let us know which of the products from this selection you liked and why. Also, if we missed a product that you think is missing in this list or you would like for us to make a review of some other products, put it in the comments section below. As always, all the links about the products mentioned in this video will be in the description below, so if you want to find the best prices and more information that we might not get a chance to mention in the video, be sure to check them out.